Bismillah walhamdulillah wa salatu wassalamu ala rasulillah wa ala alihi wa sahbihi ajma'in amma ba'd Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Hi brothers and sisters, this year, the year 2020, is my first year that I spent as a Muslim. Honestly, if you tell me a few years ago that one day I'm going to become a Muslim and one day I'm going to be religious, one day I'm going to love Islam, one day I'm going to love Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, I will never believe you. I would never believe you. And it's surprising, you know, we never know where life can lead us, right? We never know what's the plan that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has for us. And I still can't believe it, you know, I still can't believe that I'm a Muslim and I'm really happy to be a Muslim. I never thought that one day I would be able to say that I'm a Muslim, I'm a proud Muslim, I'm proud to be a Muslim, I love Islam, I love Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. You know, I never thought that I would say all these things ever in my life. You know, I never thought that I would ever become a religious person. You know, I just never think that I'm the religious type of person. You know, and oh man, I'm so wrong. Right, I'm so, so wrong. So here I am, um, spending the last few days of 2020 as a Muslim, and I want to ask all of you, how will you remember the year 2020? For me, this year, everything in my life changed. And when I say everything, I really mean everything. Like everything in my life has changed. My direction in life has changed. My purpose in life has changed. You know, my understanding of what life is has changed. And the things that I do every day has changed. You know, I, I pray five times a day, you know. And this year is really a year of change for me. And not a change for the worse, a change for the better, you know. A change for the better. Alhamdulillah, I'm really thankful to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for guiding me to Islam, right. And really thankful to, you know, learn about Islam. And most importantly, I'm also very happy to be able to still sit here and talk to all of you, you know, we never know when is our last day going to be. We never know when, you know, 2020 might be our last day, you know, we never know, right? It might be, it might not be, we never know. Only Allah knows, right? So, it is, I guess, a um, bittersweet feeling that um, this year has passed, you know, and this year is coming to an end. There's many things that I wish that I could have done more this year. Um, I could have focused more and, you know, learned much more than what I've learned now about Islam. I could have learned more, right? But, you know, inshallah, inshallah, next year, next year, I will try my best and do better than this year and learn a lot more about Islam and increase my knowledge more than what I have learned this year. There's also many things that is out of, you know, our control, right? This year, you know, a lot of things have changed for a lot of people as well. You know, there's this pandemic going on all around the world and many people's life has changed, right? Some has changed for the better, some has changed for the worse. You know, some people have lost their jobs. Some people have, you know, have had the virus, you know, everyone is going through different things in life, you know, and so we must all be thankful to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, even though because of this virus, there's many things that we cannot do, you know, we cannot travel and we cannot do a lot of the things that we want, probably going to the mosque like how people used to last time going to, you know, celebrate Ramadan, you know, this year I'm sure a lot of people never had the usual celebration that, like what they used to had, have in the past, right? And I'm sure that, you know, a lot of people are very upset about it, but yet again, if you are still watching this video, if you are able to watch this video, then I think you should be thankful to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, you know, you should be thankful for everything that you have right? At least, at least you are still alive, right? At least you are still alive and able to repent for 
your sins, right? People, you know, for people who have um, passed away this year, unfortunately, you know, because of the virus or because of anything else, you know, their, their test ends there. Their test ends there. You know, they can no longer ask for forgiveness for their sins. What they have left for them is only if they have um, Sadaka Jariya, the continuous charity, and you know, people who make dua for them, and maybe some other stuff. But you know, that is pretty much what um, they have left, right? They are no longer able to repent for their sins. They are no longer able to pray to Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala. You know, that's it for them, right? The next time they'll be back is in the Day of Judgment, right? It's on the Day of Judgment and, you know, sometimes it's scary to think about that but it is the reality and it is the truth and it is sometimes what I think about, you know. Sometimes things don't always go the way that we want to but we are still here at least, right? At least you are still here, at least you are still able to watch my video, at least I'm still here, at least I'm still able to talk to all of you who's watching this video. And at least, you know, we are still able to pray, we are still able to be able to ask for forgiveness, we still can fast, you know, and inshallah, we still can celebrate another year of Ramadan, and inshallah, you know, maybe we can still go for Hajj or Umrah in the future, right? There's still many things that have that we still can do in the future, inshallah. And really, I'm very thankful to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And that is number one, you know. Very thankful to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that I'm still here and you're still here. And yeah. The second thing that I'm very thankful for is all of you who's watching this video. Right? All of you who's watching this video. You know, every one of you and all my subscribers, right? I have like close to 35,000 subscribers now and 35,000 subscribers, you know, can you imagine that? 35,000 subscribers, that is a lot, you know, that is really a lot of subscribers and I'm really thankful, you know, for each and every one of you who's supporting my journey in Islam, who's watching my videos, sharing your thoughts in the comment section below, you know, I really enjoy this interaction of you know, reading your comments, hearing your thoughts of each and everything that I share and giving your suggestion and tips and feedbacks, to, you know, and it's not only for me, it is for other people in the future who might be reading your comments as well and inshallah, it will only benefit more and more people. And that's what I'm really thankful for as well, for everyone who's watching this video and supporting me in my journey. And the year 2021 will be better than the year 2020, inshallah. There's many things that we can do to make it better, right? We can learn more about Islam, you know, that is in our control, right? The things that we can't control, you know, just leave it to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for the things that we can't control, right? But for the things that we can control, you know, our day-to-day -day life, most, most part of it, you know, what we do in our day-to-day -day life, right? How we spend our time, you know. Inshallah, I will try my very best as well to, you know, learn Arabic as well in this coming year. Hopefully, inshallah, again, I'll be able to, you know, at least learn some of it Arabic and increase more and more of my knowledge in Islam. And I know that, you know, once I learn and learn and learn about many things about Islam, you know, eventually, eventually, inshallah, I will have to one day share it, you know, the knowledge, right, in terms of, you know, giving useful videos more useful videos than what I'm doing now, you know, giving proper, you know, um, teachings, um, basic teachings of Islam, etc, etc, in the future, you know, so, inshallah, again, you know, that is my plan for the future. So, hopefully, again, inshallah, you know, I say inshallah a lot in this video because talking a lot about the future, right? Hopefully, again, inshallah, you know, all our hopes and all our targets and all our goals for the future can all be achieved, not only for me, but for all of you guys as well. You know, I'll make prayers and dua for all of you who's watching this video and supporting my videos and 
hopefully you will make dua for me as well you know for me to help me achieve my goal as well and so the question now is to all of you how will you remember the year 2020 do you think that it is good or do you think that it could have been better do you think that you could have done much more right do you think that you could have prayed more sunnah prayers do you think that you could have made more dua for you or your family do you think that you could have learned more about islam do you think that you could have learned more about the quran do you think that you could have memorized more of the quran and if you think so you know same as me <laughs> same as me okay next year inshallah let's do our best you know let's do better let's try and learn more about islam the beauty of islam learn more about the words of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and get closer and closer to allah subhanahu wa ta'ala you know so that is my message to all of you i would like to hear all your comments on how will you remember 2020 and what's your plan next year and inshallah we will all be able to fulfill our plans with the will of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala I'll see all of you in my next video, inshallah. I hope that all of you have a nice day. Jazakallahu khairan. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Bye-bye.